guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm going to be deep conditioning my hair and chatting with you guys I just feel like chatting and I know I have to deep condition my hair right now the top of my hair already has dried because the memory card is acting like a hot fool honey so I'm just trying to section my hair so I just wanted to chat with you guys I just want to chat about my YouTube I don't know fame or whatever um definitely not famous person but um i have been getting a lot of traction from my youtube channel i've gotten a lot of views and i've gotten um a lot of subscribers like y'all i hit a hundred and for on thanksgiving i hit 100k on thanksgiving it's now what february 6th and i have uh, 146,000 and something so yeah I know I'm like dripping and y'all can see all the drippage so I'm gonna be using the um, Myel Organics deep conditioner as you guys know my hair has been lacking a lot of protein so I've just been trying to get some moisture protein balance in my hair but and curls popping or whatever so yeah y'all so my channel has been growing like crazy -y. And um, I just kind of want to tell you guys like what I did, what was happening, how did that happen, all that good stuff. Because, y'all, it's been a long time coming. Like, I've been doing YouTube for a long time. And so it's just like crazy that a little bit of consistency really, really, really is making a difference in my channel. You know what I'm saying? And so that is the biggest thing, like me being super consistent. So when I left my job, I was literally like, if I can give these people my time every single day, if I can give them my time, then I can spend that time on my own dreams and my own aspirations in my YouTube channel. And so I was like, I'm giving all my energy back to them. And that's what I did, y'all. Like I... I, I, I don't know y'all I really got into the mood and I was just like I'm gonna produce this content whether y'all watch it or not like, just like y'all watch it y'all watch it y'all don't y'all don't I need to grow my, my business like I'm really ready to grow my business so that's what I did y'all and I am so happy that I did it growing your platform or your business and all of that it honestly it'll go a lot further if you are nice to people YouTube, when I decided to do YouTube full-time I responded to every single comment that you guys had put on my page like every time you guys put something I was responding now I'm getting a lot of comments so I can't respond to everybody um I try to respond to everybody who comments on my videos in the first 30 minutes um so that is something that like I don't know it's just those little things that just shows appreciation like that stuff I feel like took me further than anything else on YouTube just kind of being nice to people and you know showing up like y'all helping me out so like I don't know responding to y'all has been like a thing that I don't know I like I like doing and also supporting other YouTubers. Let's say you're watching a natural hair video and in the comments you put something not related to your channel. Don't do that. But you put something that was like, I don't know, funny or something like that and everybody start liking it so it boosts your comment to like the top of the page or whatever. And um, when you do that, then people start noticing you. They click on your stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Like that, I've done that so many times. Even on videos that aren't about natural hair. And people have been like, oh my God, I love your channel. I'm like, dang girl, you like you like that too? Like are we all on a, on a whole food network. <laughs> And I'm in the comment section and you talk about how you like my channel, which is, I don't know, I just love all of that. A lot of people have told me that, like, they found me because of a comment on another video. To really be successful on YouTube, you have to realize YouTube is a business. And with this business, they want to make money. And so if you're not uploading content consistently, you're not making them money. So why would they push your content out to you know people for people to see if you're not even consistent and that is the theory behind all of that like you guys see the ads that be on our videos like even the ads that we put on our videos helps us out or whatever it tell like it's making youtube money so then 
we make more money. It's so crazy. Cause I was watching a video and they were like, yeah, the more ads you put on your videos, it just lets YouTube know that, you know, you're serious about your stuff and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, that is very interesting. I don't know. That was just interesting to me. Um, how YouTube works and a lot of people I see so many people saying yeah my YouTube is dying and it's like no your YouTube isn't dying what's happening happening is you're not changing with the times period like y'all my hair is tangled as fuck I need some water <laughs> I'm not used to not putting my deep conditioner on in the shower so this is weird Pardon me. I need some more water I don't know if y'all ever noticed but like my hair don't automatically have a curl pattern. Like, I have to, like, products is what enhances whatever I do have. But my hair is not necessarily, like, curly curly. It's, like, wavy. <laughs> I don't know if y'all ever noticed that. But I'm sure y'all have. But I just kind of noticed it. I'm just like, oh, I don't really have curls. I have, like, waves. I don't know. I have to, basically, the products, I have to, I have to make curls. Because I don't automatically have that in my hair. But that's okay. Y'all are talking about y'all channels are dying and stuff. It's like, no, it's not. It's like, you're not consistent enough. If you are posting three or more times a week, you're going to see. You're going to see the results. Like, you going to see the results. I, I, I promise you. I promise you will see the results. Come up with three things that you want people to take away from your videos. I want it to be funny. I want it to either be um educational or informative i think that was it i wrote it down y'all but when you are creating a youtube channel or a youtube video or whatever you're trying to do if you're trying to be a youtuber there needs to be a theme for your channel now i'm not saying that if you want to do natural hair you just got to do natural hair that's not what i'm saying i'm saying you got to have a theme and if you want other people to come to your videos for other things what you need to do is try to incorporate that into the content that you're producing that they want to see so as you guys like for example I do natural hair videos but when y'all come to my natural hair videos you gonna get something else you probably gonna get some random commentary you gonna you gonna laugh you probably gonna get cussed out like I don't know but you guys probably started coming to my videos for the hair content but now you're invested in my personality. Like, you come to them for something specific. I don't know, maybe a lookbook or something. You see the clothes and you're like, oh, you cute. But it's the quality of their content that you may want to subscribe. Like, the thing about YouTube is studying people's habits and behaviors. It's all psychology. YouTube is like a big psychology experiment. It's honestly what it is. Because you're trying to figure out what people want to see like what what do people like um what they don't like all that stuff when I'm creating my thumbnails when I'm creating my titles like all that is like what would I click on like if I was to be scrolling down YouTube or whatever and I was looking at my subscription box or just looking at YouTube period what stands out to me what looks best you know what I'm saying hair is starting to look healthier after I did some dumb shit. Don't y'all think so? My ends though, my ends are what's like popping. After she gave me that trim, I'm like, sis, look at that. Anyway, enough of that. Get back to the YouTube, because I know that's what y'all came for. I just decided to be myself, unapologetically myself. Like, I don't, I'm not here to please you guys. Like, I just... This is how I would want the content, you know, put out to me. So that's that's just kind of what I decided to go with. Ooh, I'm about to run out of this deep conditioner though. But you also need somebody that's like going to tell you if something's stupid or not. Me and Jalen kind of became a full-time YouTuber at the same time. So like literally our conversations aren't sugarcoated, but y'all kind of know that I, I'm not a sugarcoated person anyway. So like, if Jayla asks me a question, I'm gonna tell her the answer and it is what it is. Either you gonna like it or you not gonna like it. Like, at the end of the day, I'm here to help and you're here to help. So like, don't sugarcoat nothing. Tell me if what, I, what I'm doing is stupid. Like, you know, and also with, with rates and stuff, I know a lot of people have questions about like how much to charge and all that stuff. And me and Jalen talk about that all the time. Like, I'll be like, sis, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Ain't enough money, honey. Ain't enough money. Ain't enough. 
or no fine ain't it ain't hmm that's how i be like y'all you youtube pay a lot of money like y'all i'm gonna just keep it funky with y'all i'm gonna keep it real funky with y'all i'm gonna I'm open up my um how much i got paid for the month of january in just a second give me one second this is just first of all i've never gotten a check this big from youtube ever in my life okay so let's just start off by saying that but i did post three times a week consistent consistently so that it paid the hell off hold on i'm gonna show y'all give me one second let me get that edge right there go on my hand slip it in the mug okay open that thing up here go my subscriber count like i said thanksgiving i had 100k um what I said I was going to do? Oh, show y'all how much I got paid. Okay. Uh, there you go. I made $5,956.22. That is for the month of... So, basically, it was for the videos that I did in December. And I got paid for those in January. Okay? So, how do you get paid? First of all, I want to put out... I have 333 videos on my channel. Okay? Every single video, well not every single one, the ones that don't have copyright claims, they're making money. So the more videos you have out, sis, they're going to make money, okay? So you have to put out content to make money, okay? So this paid my bills and credit cards and all. Like I was, I was so freaking happy. Y'all, oh my God. This, I had did an Aztec clay mask and I still got the shit in my hair. Let me go wash that out. Damn it. All right, I think I got it out, but if not, it's going to get rinsed out with this deep conditioner because ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. So, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Damn it. <sighs> okay. Y'all, I'm about to run out of deep conditioner. We're going to make it work. I got some more though. But, yeah, girl, YouTube, YouTube, you can make a lot of money, honey. A lot of money. That's not including a sponsorship you might get. And this is only the beginning. I literally just started being consistent uh, with my content in September. So, it hasn't even been that long. And my channel is already doing... Now, granted, December is a busy month. That's when a lot of um, companies are busting out a lot of advertisement. Because you get paid from the advertisements that goes onto your videos. So... Um, January is actually going to be much lower, um, for me because January is actually a low month for advertisement. So every, every January, and there's videos on this, every January, your income will pretty much go down, but, um, it's compensated. Like you, you kind of get that back because brands and companies, um, have new budgets at the beginning of the year. So that's where a lot of sponsored content can come in at when you do it in um january or whatever so i don't know i mean y'all just be talking <laughs> i don't know if y'all even care about this type of information but I, if you clicked on the video you probably do so but yeah y'all i'm about to bust out the other deep conditioner i want to open another one because i want just like a little bit more feels a little dry so i just need like a little bit actually no i don't that's why i didn't over moisturize the heck out of my hair and it still got that like weird gummy feel to it, but it's it's getting over it. Like the more I keep adding protein, the better it's getting. So it's getting better. <laughs> but um, I'm just rubbing my hair so y'all can kind of really get a good idea of what the deep conditioner has done. This is one of my favorite deep conditioners though. So I was not expecting anything less. But. Yeah, YouTube is definitely where it's at. I know a lot of y'all be like, I want to start a YouTube channel. Please don't come to me with that. Don't do that. I don't, I don't, I don't care about you wanting to start a YouTube channel. I don't care. I'm sorry. I don't care. Because if you ain't started that shit, you ain't serious enough, okay? You're just not serious enough. Like, what? Start it. Pull your damn camera out, sis, and start it. Start it. What else do you want me to say? Start it. I'm not nobody. I, I ain't nobody, y'all. I, I literally, when I graduated high, um, graduated college, I started working at this one company. They paid me $12 an hour after college, y'all. I've never gotten more than $5,000 in a month from my corporate job, ever. 
and I get this like that and I control that though you know what I'm saying like I am willing to work my ass off to get to where I want to be and if you don't have that mentality YouTube is not for you sis okay it just ain't for you. I'm sorry, y'all. I really don't sugarcoat shit. Like, I know sometimes Jalen be like, bitch, you get on my nerves. She'll, she'll be having a bad day and I'll be like, no, the hell. Uh-uh. Get your ass up. Sorry, I gotta get that top. Get that out of the lid. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm -mm. Fall to the fall. Mm -mm 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 you know what song that is? <laughs> just wondering. We're gonna do what the instructions say. You understand what I'm saying? Instructions say, cover with a plastic cap for 15 minutes. Well, we ain't got one of those, sis, so I'm about to go ahead and get that grocery bag I got downstairs. I'll be back. I'll be back. Publix bag. All right. If you see a brown bag, it's Publix, sis. It's Publix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That but not that thing. Dang, I got a hole. Oh, well. We need that air out, sis. Yeah. Okay. I like to tuck this under too. So that you ain't got too much air in there. But then I do got a hole, so. But it'd be alright. Maybe I hate friend. Okay. Alright, so what does it say? 15 minutes. Does it say sit under the dryer? For intense treatment, sit on a dryer for 30 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna sit on the dryer for 30 minutes because I ain't got nothing to do. And then I'll be back to you, okay? Okay, so I've already taken the bag off and this is what my hair is looking like. Nice and juicy and juicy and juicy. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair and I guess do something to it today. So, I hope you guys really liked this deep conditioning chit chat video. If you guys want me to do more of these, let me know if you have any other questions about YouTube stuff. Let me know below. I do have so much to share with you guys. But just let me know in the comment section below what you guys kind of want to see from me or whatever. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.